If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Guys, you are going to hear me say stuff today that you are probably, like this is going to be in the history books, okay? You are probably never going to hear me say these things again. All right. Never. I Like I'm telling you, you are probably never going to hear me say these things again. I think that the L trigger guy was the one responsible for the content today. I don't even think I know how the L trigger guy is there. He's he's real. He's uh, you guys know who the L trigger guy is, man. It's this guy, right? The guy that did this. That's the same guy that did the content today, man. Holy. This is the first time you will ever hear me say this. Are you ready? If you spend money on this game, you actually use your FIFA points. You could already see that it decreased my FIFA points from my SPC account because I never used those FIFA points from the pre-order, right? I know most people did the drafts and all that stuff, but it was just there because I was going to use it towards drafts to collect coins. But you could already see it decreased from the last time we did SPC content, okay? Because I already, I already did it. Like, I already did it. If you spend FIFA points on this game, again, history books, this is probably the time to do it, okay? For a guaranteed meta card that is not a nuisance to get because they're already meta cards in a game that is formatted for meta. The L trigger guy came in clutch today, boys. Let me tell you, because oh my goodness, the card that they released today, it makes sense for how your game is formatted. It's not formatted great, but at least someone put their brain cell cap on today man the brain cells it's like replenishing like i've been losing brain cells at a consistent rate but now it's replenished a little bit you know what i'm saying SBC was still a little bit up there in price but still this is the first time you'll hear me say this if you want to spend your fifa points on some of these guys you can't see it right now because i already spent it on show money because uh, for obvious reasons right but then centurion sharpshooter free one oh my goodness gracious dude Let's take a look at some of these bad boys that they have ready for us, okay? The first one is going to be the midfielders. Guys, the most obvious choices for the midfielders is going to be Lorente and Shuamane, no questions asked, okay? Because these two players are players that are going to last you a very long time. People are like, oh, but what if they get promo cards? You are using your FIFA points or your coins for a guaranteed version of players that are very meta in this gameplay. Very different. Okay, very, very different. Okay, the first card to check out here is going to be, again, one of the meta options, Marcus Lorente. You could choose to give a card like this an anchor chemistry style or a shadow chemistry style because you know you really want to maximize his pace as much as possible which i would not be against anybody doing because of his base card stats for physical being improved but guys listen okay just listen to this lorente's rare gold card look at how it's formatted 95 99 okay as a controlled player with the other chemistry style on an anchor you have almost very similar pace but now you can boost the physical and guys let me tell you bro the physical stats being improved is a really big deal to work with in this game but you could also see that a shadow does give him some extra defensive stats in the interceptions and slide tackle department so whichever direction you go you're solid you're working with a very meta option so if you guys choose to go with Lorente, he's going to be very very good shuamane you guys know shuamane fan favorite over here okay when we tweeted him out earlier in the year i basically told you guys this is the new palinga i was i was trending with a card like this as well as benzema both of those cards are absolutely insane in this year's game shuamane uh, i mean the sbc account it's already shuamane it's already gonna be shuamane guys i couldn't care less if he gets a promo card in the future because i am getting a guaranteed version of a card that provides me fantastic national links club links league links like and listen these objectives all these objectives you see here oh i have to do this and that not a nuisance because the rare gold version of shuamane is a beast the card was 1.2k at the market at some point now he's 2.7 because you know why he's 2.7 and he didn't go up that much because everybody has this card bro because the rare gold version was actually amazing he's amazing because of obvious reasons look at the play styles okay nobody's stupid look at the play styles okay 
Now the Evolutions version, very key thing to mention here is whether or not he is a lengthy player because the lengthy part of the card is very nice and you could see that he is no longer lengthy, okay? The lengthy is definitely a very huge part of the card to work with, but guys, at the end of the day, it's still a card that you're going to keep on stay back while attacking. And when we talk about actual defensive animations, I feel like he's still going to be really, really well compensated, right? On the Shadow Chemistry style. It's weird because I want to see how he plays because listen, we got the card. We'll see if it's like a, a huge nuisance to deal with because making him explosive over the lengthy, like the lengthy, like EA knows what they're doing when they do this stuff. Okay, they know. They know that they're like, yo, listen. They're like in the meeting, they're like, listen, guys, if we make him a lengthy, we're going to release a CDM that's going to be good for the entire year. But even still, guys, I want to see what the explosive is. Uh, it's not going to be hard to unlock him because it's just you playing the game normally. And a lot of these here. So here's where the issues are, right? The issues exist within those ones right there. It's like score 10 goals using your active Evo player in squad battles on minimum semi pro. So it, you have to use the card. It's not that bad because if you get like a penalty, right? A penalty is like the best way to probably score your opportunities with a card like this, right? Like that's how you're going to basically unlock him if you play him through champs or rivals. So make sure that your penalty kick taker is switched to Shua Mane, okay? If you guys actually end up doing this because... Oh, wait, no. Oh, they're not stupid. Oh, they're not stupid. Oh, my gosh. Ah, oh, see, they, they, they got to watch the videos, man, because there was an objective... And I complained about this like crazy, where with Graven Birch and stuff, I'm like, who, whoever is making me do these objectives in Division Rivals, I hate you with the deepest passion. And look, look at look at the brain cells. I can see the guys, I can see the brain cells leaking from my monitor. Look at that. Oh my goodness. L Trigger guy made the content today, guys. I'm telling you, man. He's the one who made the content today. Shumane is a good option, right? What else we got here for these uh, absolute monster cards, right? We have Dunn. Dunn is probably going to be a pretty decent option to go with as well. Like, she looks honestly really, really good. Uh, this card, guys, listen to what I'm going to tell you with a card like this. You know when you use a formation like a 4-3-3, but then you're like, oh man, like I need to switch to a 4-2-3 one in game? This card right here is the card to do that with. You understand? Like, if I review this 4-3-3 that you guys are going to see soon, this is the type of card to get if you're going to do something like that because she has defensive stats by default. So if I give her a Hunter Chemistry style, sure, the you know, the pace is in a weird situation, but you guys need to understand, man, and I told you guys this all the time, right? The women in this game, because they are shorter and they have certain body types, they dribble way quicker. They're like pro clubs characters, right? So because she has defensive stats and the high, high work rates, five foot one height, this is going to be a very good option to go with if you don't go with Laurenti and Shumane. Like, I would not be against someone actually getting this card for someone that genuinely gives you really good links to crazy cards, man. Debinha, Smith, Morgan. Like, these are overpowered players in game, right? I was actually going to make like a concept video where I was going to use like a triple link setup and basically call them like the new Ibarbo, Gervinho, and. Um... Oh my goodness, I'm drawing a blank. Ibarbo, Gervinho. Oh my god, I can't remember. I'm such a I'm I'm actually ashamed of myself, I'm not gonna lie to you. Ibarbo Gervinho. Ibarbo Gervinho. Wow, it's gone. It's gone forever. Anyways, look at all of these selections. Oh my Bernardo <gasps> Sanchez is finally getting an upgrade. Oh my goodness. On a shadow chemistry style. <laughs> Oh yeah, this this is this is hitting the spots. It's hitting the spots. Rafael Leal link as well. You know, I like it. I like it. Shadow chemistry style on this bad boy, boosting the pace, boosting the defense. You got a very solid card to work with in a midfield setup. Obviously, in the meta of this gameplay, guys, I do prefer the taller players. But Ronaldo Sanchez, he has that sauce to him, bro. Let me tell you, he's got that sauce to him. Relentless, such an like obvious thing. Bruiser, quick step, long pass, very good stuff to work with there as well. Let's check out these cards, man. Kamavinga would also be a very good option. This card is a controlled lengthy player on an anchor. That is fantastic. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh yeah. With base card stats for dribbling set up in a certain area, if I decided to use this card in a 4-2-3-1 setup, not, I wouldn't necessarily say the left back because his pace, even though he's a lengthy player, is a little bit on the lower side unless you keep him on stay back while attacking. But I'm talking about the midfield setup, CDM center mid position. Like this card looks very, very nice. And it's a rare gold to a straight upgrade as well. 
you know, 82 to an 85. Uh, this would not be a bad choice either. Very, very good links to work with, but you don't have a Shua Mane maxed out card, so that link is like kind of vital, you know what I'm saying? Like for me personally, guys, when it comes to the midfielders, I would rather just try to work towards getting better midfielders, but Shua Mane, like there's not a lot of cards like him, guys. Like I'm telling you, Ferland Mendy and Shua Mane are probably never going to leave my club. I'm actually not joking. Every time you guys watch me do tactic videos, people always say in the comment section, this guy literally swears down on Shua Mane. And I do. I swear down on it was him and Benzema. Benzema I had to get rid of because the pressure tactic ruined his attacking AI. You guys know the vibes there, but it's a really good card. Bro, I want you guys to check out this card as well, okay? This card... Look how many playstyles she has, my dude. Tiki Taka, Technical, Flair, Trickster, Trivella, Acrobatic, Rel Bro, look at all of the playstyles, my dude. Look at this, bro. For a card, let's see. Medium high work rated. She's five foot five. So obviously, when it comes down to the meta, not like crazy ideal. But guys, listen, a card like this, man, listen, listen, listen. Three midfield setup. If you have one of the center mids on stay back while attacking cover center, which a lot of people usually do for their 4 3 2 ones, again, this is a card that's ideal to use in a position like that. I would say if you're going to choose the women, though, Dunn looks like the one. Dunn looks like the one because she's formatted very, very nicely. But this card also has five star skills. So there's different ways of looking at it as well, right? Bruno Gimenez. Obviously, there's the RTTK card for people. People who did the RTTK card, it's if they think Newcastle can actually get through. And guys, in football, you genuinely never know. It could actually happen. Uh, this card is a controlled lengthy player on an anchor. You can't upgrade it further. So, I mean, I'd rather just risk the RTTK for further improvements for the meta of the game. So, so far, my most meta options for this, Lorente, Schumane, Dunn, Kamavinga. This card's actually not bad. Ronaldo Sanchez looks fantastic. But this Dunn card, like, again, that rotation policy would be really, really crazy. Uh, Belgard. So Belgard's card is for people who actually ended up completing the very first version, which is still available, right? So if you upgrade this card and you use him in Trailblazer Interceptor first, right, which is actually ideal because the Trailblazer Interceptors were a little bit chalked for the most part, this is going to be a very nice card to upgrade to, right? Because even though he's a three-star, three-star player, this is a very well-rounded card for agility in the midfield setup for a card that actually gives you some pretty solid links as well, right? So the link's definitely very nice. Shadow chemistry style to boost the pace and the defense as, uh, as much as possible. Definitely looks like a very solid choice with some very good play styles too. You know, intercept, relentless, bruiser, uh, very good for a three midfield setup, 100%. Ben Acer, you guys know that Ben Acer last year when he got that RTTK card, it was a card that actually lasted a pretty good amount of time for a lot of people because um, it was a really well-rounded card for the most part. It won't be any difference with this card. If you like to play those 4-3-3 formations, you, you slap a nice little shadow chemistry saw on this guy, use him as one of the center mids. Left-footed player, play styles, he's got paint pass, bruiser, relentless, incisive pass, some very good stuff to work with there too. Wouldn't be horrible to select this card depending on your team's situation obviously this is a guy that's like 17 years old bro 17 years old this guy's an absolute beast so here we go right trailblazer interceptor chalked spc but now you can use it towards getting this card first and then you can get the card afterwards which is way more you know formatted for the meta of the gameplay like way way more right shadow chemistry style pace is in a good area defense is in a good area uh, dribbling's in a good area. Like, these cards make way more sense. You know, they, they do. They make way more sense, especially with the way that the game is formatted. Physical stats there as well. A very solid option to work with. Um, Gavi. Uh, do I see people doing Gavi? Maybe. It really depends. Like, I don't think Gavi's going to be, like, the top tier selection, to be honest with you. Like, maybe for people who are Barca fans, they just want to get the card right away for a future improvement as well. We'll see what they end up doing with that. Uh, if you guys ended up doing... Oh, just Golden Glow Part 1. See, this is where it's weird. This is where it's weird because if you only did... Like, you don't know that this is going to happen because Golden Glow Up is not a thing right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't think so. At least, like, I don't have it here. And I don't think I use the cards either for this SBC account. But um, if you still have that card and you upgrade to this version on a Shadow Chemistry style, it's still pretty decent. There was obviously the other version as well, which was, I think, this one. For the golden glow up part two so that's where i feel feel like ea is a little bit you know what i'm saying like look at this card right on a shadow chemistry saw because this card was extinct dude you could not get this bad boy right and then comparison to the other version right if i reset the stats here look at the comparison between the other version 
The other version is literally a better card if you knew that he was going to be... Oh, sorry. Did I, am I stupid, guys? Did I not just see Golden Glove Part 1 by itself and then they upgraded it? Because I was, I was, I was going to... I was already thinking in my head, like, brain cells are very low. Maybe I didn't notice this. Maybe I'm stupid. I don't know. But... This makes more sense, right? Part one, part two, and then you get the box to box. Okay, so again, brain cells replenished again, right? What else we got here for these cards? Dude, we have so many options, genuinely. Like, we genuinely have so many. Oh, this is a really big one, actually. So, on my third account, I did the Graven Birch card. So, let's see here. 87 rated version. Oh, it's because I didn't select the right one before. That was my fault, okay? I admit when stuff is my fault, because... Uh, I was about to say, like, maybe I'm stupid, right? And I was. I was being stupid. This is another very good option to go with. Guys, Graven Birch may not be a card you want to use in a three midfield setup in, like, a 4-3-3. Like, 4-3-2-1 on a stay back while attacking, yes. Like, the height is very nice to work with. But this card is really, like, mainly used as a two CDM formation kind of guy, right? Like, if you're using a 4-2-3-1 and this is the guy next to Shua Mane, I'm telling you guys, Graven Birch is really good. People that watch that review, they'll know what I'm talking about because he was actually very, very solid to work with on a Shadow Chemist style. But more specifically, in those types of formations that are more narrow, right? So, because obviously in, like, the open ones, it would be more ideal to use, like, a different type of center mid. Honestly, in the more open formations, a card like Lorente would make more sense, right? Um... There's Fernandez that people, you know, for people that want to do the Chelsea links, there's Limer as well. Uh, for people that are working with the Bayern Munich players, you know, Shadow Chemistry Style, well formatted in that area. He is a medium high work rated card that gives you Bayern Munich links. So let me see the play styles of the card. So he has Block, which is great. Bruiser is great. Relentless is great. No Anticipate or anything like that, but he still has very good play styles to work with. So if you ended up choosing this card because you're working with some sort of like Bundesliga team, that also wouldn't be horrible. But obviously, if you packed the RTTK version of the card, right? So we do this, we do this, and then we compare it to this one, right? This one's obviously downgraded, but the RTTK part of it, he could potentially go up. But it is a card on the market that is 213k. Um, so there's different ways of looking at it. Would I, would I personally choose that guy? Probably not. Like if I was going to go with Limer in general, I'd probably go with the RTTK version who is also a medium high work rated player, right? Uh, what else we got here? So Graven Birch, definitely a really big one. James Madison. So how do you upgrade James Madison's card? 87 rated is just the box to box, right? Yeah. The player of the month card was actually like good value for like 40 something K. It, it really was like the card actually performs well. Lamar. Lamar also well formatted. Yeah, Lamar is also well formatted. This wouldn't be a horrible card to choose either, honestly. Especially if you give him like a Hunter chemistry style and you use him in the center mid position or even a shadow and use him in a 4-3-3 that can be rotated into the main attacking positions up top. Like that genuinely wouldn't be horrible either. I, like I said, guys, the main options are definitely going to be these two. 100%, like without a shadow of a doubt, for sure. But like done and stuff looks pretty decent. Paul Pogba. Nah, I'm, I'm not really like into Paul Pogba, to be honest here. Ooh, Mateo Janunj. Let's see Mateo Janunj here. This guy, by the way, if you guys ever use his rare gold card, he actually performs really well in game. Like he performs better than what he looks like. So I need to see his play styles because I'm telling you, man, he's actually nice. Press proven, relentless, bruiser, and ping pass. Yeah, because this card, honestly, I'm not even joking. Like he's actually pretty decent in game. Shadow chemistry style. Again, probably like a three midfield setup. Would I use it for this either? Probably not, but like it wouldn't be a horrible selection compared to like the third, the 79 rated card. Um, yeah, Belgard again, one of the main options. Pellegrini for people that are working with the Serie A links wouldn't be a bad choice either, um, especially for someone that wants to rotate him in the midfield position um, as well as the, you know, midfield position for the most part, CDM area. Like this would be a good card as well. Tall player, has a four-star weak foot, six foot one, shadow chemistry style, boosting the pace, boosting the defense. Again, a well-formatted card for a game that is very meta-oriented for sure. My boy Lucas Paqueta gets a card. What else we got here? Moises Caicedo gets a card as well. Like, dude, there's a bunch of cards to look at here, honestly. 84 rated for him if you get the jump on him. Again, this is probably going to be more for, like, the Chelsea fans. I don't think a lot of people are going to select him because of the 89 acceleration, 83 for sprint speed. Um... Tudom. Can I upgrade Tudom from the Evolutions? No, it's not a thing for him, is it? No. 
Because, no, Tudom, I think, was... Yeah, Tudom was Golden Glove Part 2, but they don't have a thing for him. No, they don't. It's just Welcome to Evolutions. I did Tudom on one of my accounts, and I regretted it. Like, I like Graven Birch more than him, to be honest. I didn't regret it, because, honestly, he's helpful for the links and stuff, but there's better options, in my opinion, for sure. Uh, Darder, Fred, Taylor, Guerrero, Ruben Neves, Douglas Luiz... I would say that's pretty much it for like the main guys, for sure. Trailblazer, Interceptor, 85 rated for the highest, and then you can get the 84, which is a lower one. Yeah. Bacetic, medium high, six foot one. You know what? This card actually doesn't look like it's, it's that badly format. Like this one specifically. Like this card actually looks pretty decent. Does he have good play styles? Tiki Taka, Pink's Pass, Intercept. I mean, for the passing plays in a 4-3-3, I mean, you can't go wrong with that, honestly. Not a poorly formatted card. Like, that's actually okay. I don't think we saw this one for Trailblazer Interceptor, but for the price range and stuff, a little bit weird. But still, medium-high work rate, it's definitely a well-formatted card. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for what I can personally see right off the get-go for Centurion's Box to Box. Like, that, that's a W. Massive, massive W there. But then there's also the Centurion's Sharpshooter that has my boom. Bro, my boy is here, Pedro Neto. My boy, look at this card, bro. Look at the position changes as well. Left mid, left wing, striker, right wing. Do you know how convenient that is to have? Do you understand how convenient that is? Look at how this card is formatted, bro. For a card that you're probably going to use in the side positions. What play styles does he have? Rapid, quick step, finesse shot, and Trivella. Oh my goodness gracious. You know what? For me personally, I'd probably use them on the left-hand side more than anything on a Hunter chemistry style. The dribbling is on the lower side for certain areas, but guys, he's five foot eight, and he has. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't say here. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? The Ronaldinho body type. I don't know why they have Ronaldinho body type on him. I don't know if he actually does because I never tried out the actual card. But look at this card, bro. This card actually looks really sick. I gotta get him. Him. Uh, this card, I gotta get the high medium work rates. I gotta get him, dude. What's the What's the requirements for that one? Let me see. Because if that's playing like squad battles and stuff, like that's okay because because that's going to be chalked in the in the higher divisions. Uh, wins 20 squad battles, games or rivals of champs. Yeah, because using that non-rare Pedro Neto is going to be really chalked. Assist 20 goals with him. Assist 10 uh, goals, win 10. So that's a squad battles grind. That one is a squad battles grind for sure. What else we got here, boys? What else do we got? Oh my goodness, man. Meta cards in, in a game that's meta. Like ugh, who would have thought that they actually had brain cells? My goodness. Bamba. Okay, Bamba's next. Uh, so Bamba is in the 80s for dribbling. He's 5'9", five 5-star five weak foot. This card still looks decent, though, man. Because he's formatted for a hunter as well. His shot power is going to be really high with a 5-star weak foot. He's right-footed. Oh, dude, this card looks like he could be crazy, actually, man. Yo, Rapid, Flare... Quick step, Trivella, and finesse shot. So if I decide to use this card in the actual left-sided area, like he's meant to be, he would be really good there because this card on a hunter chemistry style is gonna get a plus eight for the finishing, but his shot power positioning is gonna be higher as well. With a finesse shot trade, with a Trivella trade as well, that's looking kind of saucy. That's a very nice card. Uh Huang He Chen, my boy Giyu is foaming at the mouth for this card 100%. You know what? Not poorly formatted. Like, it's this is acceptable, to be fair, because I would probably give him, like, an engine to boost his dribbling to be as, as nice as possible um, with the way that he looks. But then it also looks like a card I'd probably give, like, a Hawk to or something. Um, play styles, let's see. He has Finesse Shots, Trivella. So because he has the play styles, that's where it would be nice to actually improve the shooting capabilities of the card. But yeah, Gio is definitely going to be foaming at the mouth for that card, for sure. Ooh, Garnacho. Okay, this is... Wait, so Garnacho... So the one I'm looking at is the best version. So 86 rated. Okay. So for people that did Evolutions at first, chalked for you guys. Because I'm pretty sure some people actually did that card, which wouldn't have made sense because this game is meta-based, right? So we got to be honest with these cards. Uh, Five-star weak foot does not have the skill moves. Does not have the skill moves, but is still well-formatted, man. Like, if you don't really care too much about the skill moves, like, guys... Aspaz doesn't have skill moves, but he still performs well in game if you use him correctly. And if he has the play styles, finesse shot, technical flair, quick step, Trivella, W play styles as well. 
very very nice card to use in division rivals with a hunter chemistry cell w card very very nice there too would not be a bad selection i like it yeah i like it we got brain cells today boys what is this four star four star five foot five high medium work rates hey you know what on a hawk chemistry style doesn't look terribly formatted i don't look at the dribbling as much for the women as i do for the men because again they're smaller players different body types as well so she could actually be really nice especially if you need the Liga Feminine uh, for the uh, Liga Santander players, there's a lot of stuff to work with there. A lot of meta. Definitely look into that for sure. Uh, Cornet, 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 Cornet. Um, his dribbling is kind of weird, but I wouldn't mind giving this card a Hunter. Yeah, boost the pace, boost the shooting to be as high as possible. It's a card you would use in the side position anyways. It, he has a five-star weak foot. Does he have finesse shot and stuff? Oh, dude. Look, 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 bro. Brain cells today, guys. Brain cells today, man. What's going on with these guys, bro? They understand, like, hey, if we use him on the right side, he has a five-star weak foot, tree elephant. Like, oh my goodness, man. What's happening today, bro? This is the first time I've seen you guys use your brain cells in like seven years, man. What's going on? This is like first time I see brain cells since FIFA 18 pre-patch. And then after the patch, you lost your brain cells. But still, pre-patch -pre 18, man. Oh my goodness. Uh, I, I would look into Mavi Didi, but, but he's the guy that's uh, playing the championship. So, you know, chalked. Um, ooh. Servi on a Hawk is looking nice. Ser with the play cells? Uh, dude, they did, it, they did it to all the cards. Look at these guys, bro. Oh my goodness. It, it took you seven years to use your brain cells, but you guys used it finally. I don't have to complain today. W for Inception. W for Pinception, guys. Hawk chemistry style on Servi, especially like, dude, if I was a Befica fan, Servi's getting into my team right away because this guy used to play for them, right? Very nice card. On a Hawk chemistry style, you'll give him a shot power boost. You'll give him the finishing boost. He's got the traits. Very nice card. All these cards are free, man. I like it. Obviously, you have to grind for them, guys, but like, obviously, you know, uh, let's see what else we got here. Raquel May, Nelson for the Arsenal fans. Uh, Nep is foaming at the mouth for this one for sure. 100%. Very well formatted as well for the Hunter chemistry style. Not bad whatsoever. Composure's low, but they gave him a four-star, four-star. They gave him the right play style. Look at how they did it to everybody, bro. L Trigger guy, I love you today, man. L Trigger guy is using his brain cells. Well, L Trigger guy has always used his brain cells, right? He's the reason why we even have the... We, he's the reason we have this beautiful this beautiful thing right here, you know? He's the, he's the reason we have that. L Trigger guy, bro, for sure. Um... What else we got here? Uh, this card, Portales. Let's see. Do, do, do. Five star. We Ooh, she looks nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dribbling stats. Again, for the women, very different. Like, you don't really look into that too much. Hunter chemistry style for the Liga. Uh, feminine as well. Very, very nice. Or Femina? Femini? Femini? Something like that. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I don't really care too much about Dennis, man. I know, I know he gets the upgrade. Oh, wait. Does he have... No, I don't care too much about that, to be honest with you guys. Gordon. For the Newcastle fans, three-star skills, eh. I don't even look into that, into that one too much. Igor Paishao, a Liga Nosh player. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, with a with a hawk or a hunter, he's five foot six, so he's shorter, probably dribbles more responsibly, has the meta shooting traits as well. I like it. I like it. Technical whipped pass. Look at them doing meta stuff to these cards. Oh my goodness, the brain cells is through the roof today, boys. Uh, Simon. Simon's always that guy, bro. People love Simon. Simon or Simon, something like that. Hunter chemistry style looks great on him, bro. Boost the pace as much as possible. Or even, no, it has to be a Hunter because you got to boost the finishing as high as possible because he has a five-star weak foot. It's either that or you can actually keep the marksman on him because he does have the quick step already, you know? Quick step and rapid is really nice, but giving a quick step and rapid to a card with a Hawk or a Hunter would be nuts. Uh, like, we do need to say that, okay? So that card actually looks like a very solid option. People have the links to work with there as well. Um, what else we got? What, are, what else is like really standout, guys? Zarawi, like for, eh, maybe for some people. For some people there. Oh, oh, dude, I thought that was Smith. I almost had a heart attack, dude. Because Smith is crazy, bro. I saw Smith and for like half a second, I'm like, oh my goodness. Because <laughs> Smith is really good. Uh... Oh, Elanga. Well, he's not Manchester United anymore, so people are not going to be as interested, in my opinion. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, Rodri, Brown. 
Oh, shout out to Manny, bro. Yo, shout out to Manny. 65 rating on that for his brother. Okay, okay, okay. I mess with it. I mess with it. Murphy, Hudson Adoy, no. Guys, uh, this is us looking at the higher ratings, but there's going to be like lower, like there's going to be like certain ratings where some people are going to go for sentimental, but it's going to be for cards that are still going to be really, really solid to work with. So, I mean, guys, that's pretty much it for like the meta options, like the top tier ones. I mean, th this is a W promo today, man. Like th these cards are free, huge W, okay? I don't, even if you pay 10K for Pedro Neto, it's still a W. This card's going to be crazy. Bamba's going to be crazy. Garnacho's going to look really sick. Servi looks nice. Like there's a lot of very good options here, man. This, this is what evolutions should be like all the time. People are like, oh, we can't have this all the time. No, we have to, because we only have meta game modes, okay? No sentimental, don't give me no, don't don't give me this, look. Don't give me this, bro. Or not this one, but don't give me this, look. Even, even if you can upgrade it this much, like, what are you gonna do with this? You know what I'm saying? What are you gonna do with this card? No, it can't be like that. This is, this right here is using your brain cells. This is the brain cells through the roof with these cards today. I like it, man. I'm liking it. Guys, thanks for watching the video today. EA used their brain cells today. Uh, what, what a miracle. Seven, eight years. I, I don't even know. Ever since pre-patch uh, pre FIFA 18. <laughs> Who would have thought, boys? I'll catch you guys for the next video. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.